a score for the 60s. I'll tell you what, these two actors are just uh, destroying this field here today. They have built a 10-plus second lead over the remaining GTP field. So it's Blomquist versus Ricky Taylor right now, coming through a little bit of traffic. But just a moment ago, Brian, we saw some excellent dicing for the GTD lead. Yeah, the battle for GTD was absolutely fantastic. I think it's still going on. The number one of Madison Snow, the number 27, Aston Martin, Roman DeAngelis. Here it is down the back straightaway. You ride with Roman DeAngelis and Snow in the BMW just in front, trying to work his way through some LMP3 traffic. And that's odd. You would think that that prototype would be slightly quicker than the GTD cars. Yeah, I think Roman DeAngelis, he seems to be uh, he's kind of uh, on the defense a little bit off this long straightaway here. Like the Aston Martin doesn't have the top speed of some of the other cars in its class. We saw Jordan Taylor admittedly in GTD Pro fly around him early. And then we see here where you get the pass from the lead. He sucks up behind him in the draft. Kind of different tiers as you're coming out that Mario Andretti straightaway. And uh, certainly Madison Snow gets the run, but then Roman DeAngelis tried to fight back in a turn. Gar Robinson, he and his Riley Motorsports team have been dominant all year long. They ran at the Rolex 24, the 24-hour race at Daytona, Dylan, and had some bad luck. But that luckily was not a points-paying race. In the points-paying races, they have been magic. certainly have been the benchmark in this division over the last several seasons. Gar Robinson, who is behind the wheel right now, you know, qualified this car on the pole. He turned four laps in qualifying that would have been good enough to earn the pole position. So not just one, he backed it up three other times. So uh, that's why I think they've got a 23 almost second lead here early on because that race car is very fast. Remember, they're moving up a division next year to the ultra-competitive LMP2 division. Would love to go out as champions of this division once again no better way to end the season and certainly a class look at this Cadillacs pressing down at the end of the back straight away that was already on Pepro Durrani takes the position and all day it's held out since the opening corner of this race and Durrani's been on the attack but up front Ricky Taylor has caught Blomquist he's just under a second back you can see it right there going for the lead man things are heating up all around this racetrack you saw Durrani on his Cadillac brethren Sebastian Moore this Acura up to speed. This is Nick Yellowly with a big run. This is the winners from Watkins Glen. He's got pace around the outside. He's got the tire grip. That is tire temperature right there as Colin Brown is trying to get his car up to speed. We talked about outland performance. There you see it. And look in the backdrop. Here comes Philippe Albuquerque on the attack with the number 10, Wayne Taylor Racing, Konica Minolta entry. BMW is in. There's nowhere to go. These two GT cars are side by side, literally a road. This is the battle. Oh, the touch. That was the battle for the lead at GTD Pro. Big hit. That's the Aston Martin, I believe. It's the car that we saw going around. The That's the red car. That's 23. number 23. Yeah. That was the battle for the lead in GTD Pro, was it not? No, it was the battle for third. That is a big, big incident there. High speed turn eight. Ross Gunn just gets turned there but it is new ownership several years ago and a name change, but still the same magical facility. And what a different look on the field right now as the green flies again, racing again here at CTMP. And instead of the 60 up front, still an Acura up there, but now the 10 takes its turn out front. Look at these cars twitching around. We talk about it as a key to victory, this outland performance or cold tire performance before you get the temperatures and the pressures back into their sweet spot. Alex Sims on the attack right now on that red, white, and black wheel and engineering. Cadillac putting the pressure on. We have the GTD pre pro leader. No, I mean, these restarts are hectic to say the least. That's Pele has got around Barnaco here. Look at all the debris in the front end of that Lexus that has dominated this race so far. So maybe Pele pushed up Barnaco, got off track potentially. And cleanly, but I need to do it in the most expeditious way possible. And you hope that the drivers that are in those cars right now aware of the fact that you're on your way by. Yeah, the two leaders in front of Colin Brown a little bit. This traffic has allowed it to uh, get back with inside the leaders once again. There you see him dealing with that number one car that continues to run P2 and GTD County in front of their hometown and supporters. Now Garcia is bought momentarily. Here comes Pele with a big run off of turn 10. Patrick Pele not afraid to mix it up. You saw him side by side with Ben Barnico earlier and just removed Barnico off the outside of turn one. Just seems to get off of 
turn two and three a little bit. Little, uh, little fisticuffs that he had with Gary Grist, letting it go. And here it is, Mike Shank Racing. They have suffered through the ups and downs since the Rolex 24, and this is definitely an up. They win at Canadian Tire Motorsport Park. Colin Brown, Tom Bloomquist have been spectacular all weekend long. They take the victory. We talked about LMP3. The 74 remains up top in that championship, and if you want to win in LMP3, you're going to have to get past the 74. GTD Pro, the Corvette. The team that said they didn't have the pace. Corvette Racing makes it 12 wins up north in Canada. This time in Canadian Tire Motorsport Park with Antonio Garcia and George Taylor. Big day for Corvette Racing. They clinch the World Endurance Championship today in Monza for Keating, uh, Nikki Katzberg, and Nika Veroni. And in GTD, Brian Sellers, Madison Snow came into Canada with the championship lead in the GTD category. Well, guess what? They'll extend that lead as they head south and home. We'll be back.